So obviously I'm a little concerned because she's like, just get him to leave. And I'm like, uh, is he going to show up like somewhere else? Because if he disappears, I'm down to just EG for blacksmithing. And what if he leaves? That's concerning. As a concept. I have your arms. Let's get smithing. Let's get smithing. But I can't actually. Why are you still making weapons? Why are you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. And he's just not gonna... Yeah, there's no more dialogue. It's true. His chains are gone. They looked all burned up over there. There's like chunks of them laying on the ground, but they're not attached to him anymore. He's good to go. He can just leave. And we pretty much hit a point where they're like the only people here still? Oh, the old man is still here, right? I don't know, I think of him as an old man, but I don't know if that's contextualized. Man, what what's going on with the plot of various characters? I wonder if I hit a point in no return where I might have failed all the quests I haven't finished because this seems kind of significant. I don't know. That lady that hugs you is still somewhere? I mean, I know where, but just like... What's left of that story? This guy's still here. You burned the herd tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table holds serve to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the herd tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the all-knowing if I did any less? The pursuit of knowledge is without end. For knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who is to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? As one who aspires to become Elden Lord, How are you planning on becoming Elden Lord by just knowing everything, though, Odin? You never leave this room. What's the, uh, what's the long-term plan there? They're just checking on some old NPCs? See if any of them are reacting to the mess I've made? Let's go back to the first NPC. Or kind of the first NPC. Whatever happened to the first NPC, actually? Yeah, so you're just hanging out here. Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? I think I'm still not sure what to make of that line. It's a weird one. Goodbye for now. Is the air tree visibly burnt? Oh. Yeah, it's not great, is it? <laughs> it's definitely burning. I guess it takes a while. It's really big. It would take a long time to burn that. So what I'm wondering is that at this side of Grace was the first NPC I ever met, I think. And I never saw him again. I don't know where he went. Did he say where he went? Find yourself maidenless. Off to Leornia with you then. Seek the Rose Church west of Gate Town. Okay, well that's pretty specific. Uh, is this Gate Town? Gate. Academy Gate Town. Rose Church. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'm right back on track then. 
I had to, I asked the right question, and we're immediately following up on that exact character. Getting a little sidetracked from what we were up to in the main story, but whenever I can follow any path, it's worth checking out. Because this character just vanished from the story, if I remember correctly. I don't know, maybe I'll get there and be like, oh, I remember this encounter, but I, I don't remember finding him again. genuinely difficult to track everybody down and keep the story going with them. Uh. Ah! Fuck you! Ow. Oh shit! I'm bleeding. He put a bleed puddle. Because that's how things work, obviously. Alright, blood loss. It's still here? Yes! Ooh, and it makes you move slowly. Alright, parrying. Yeah, now I'm looking for an NPC. <laughs> There he is. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? They didn't seem right. Aha, your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Yeah. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you. My lambkin. Attempts invasion of another player's world. Well. I'm just now getting these? I do have that one. Dare I? Man, I don't like invading people. Oh well. Seems like a storyline. Is it actually succeeding? Are there that many good candidates to invade? Oh, wow. That sounds like there's a surplus of candidates to invade. I guess people doing co-op. I'm gonna get fucking crushed. I'm so bad at PvP. Do I even know where they are? Okay, they're over there, I guess. Jebediah, host of fingers. So he's got summons with him, right? Hmm. I think neither of us can mount because it's an invasion. How far away am I? Oh, his icon left. Is it because I'm near him? So I think it stops tracking him once you're close enough. You might be able to find him. Is he here by the weird trees?
I don't know how to invade people. <laughs> Is he up top of this place? You would think that would be his icon, right? Is he moving around? It's moving. Then we're off to my west. Is he hiding as a thing? Or do I just need to go way further west? I probably could have invaded in a more structured location. It's less open. There's a storm here. Now it says behind. Is he up? Is he on top of the fucking wall or something? I hope not. Did he turn it into debris? Is he hiding? How does invasions work? Where is the player? Is he invisible? Has he turned into like a thing in the environment? This sucks. Dude! <laughs> the animations, guys. It turns out, open world invasions, not an amazing time. Like, are we even on the right side of the cliff? Like, what if he's upstairs? What if I can't find him because he's upstairs somewhere? And like, if he is, he can't use a horse, so he probably can't get down to me. This is not giving me a, fir a good first impression of PvP. Can I quit? This sucks. <laughs> Sure to try that thing. There's no reason the tarnished was spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. It's pushing me to try it. But how and where? I'm just wondering if there's just like better locations to try it in. Uh oh. E.G. Uh. I take it you're tied to the air tree. 
EG's bell bearing mirror helm. Uh, okay, I'm really gonna need that other blacksmith to stick around then if, if EG's dead. That's not great for me. Oh, is he assassinated? It seems like it wasn't the bell bearings, it was these guys. Or the, the it wasn't the burning tree. Well, shit. That's everyone dead, basically. Or gone. Things did not end well for the entire Rani family. EG's been assassinated, Blythe lost his mind, and then was killed by me. Was I supposed to stand st Oh, I cancelled it, shit. I guess it stayed down. I still wanna... Last time it invaded, like, right away. Are my teleports t disabled? Does teleporting disable... Uh, the invasion? <laughs> Trying to interface with Dark Souls multiplayer mechanics often make me wonder if something's wrong with my internet. Even though I've moved since I started playing these games anyway, so who knows. I just get confused by, like, stuff not... Just n nothing not, like quite working the way you think it's going to. So maybe it's trying to find somebody that's like my level. So maybe I need to go to a better zone. Will there be more candidates? Dude, I, I lucked out so fast the first time. It just immediately got me into a, a level so I didn't have to worry about whether or not I, I was doing it right or... <laughs> and so on. Chosen tarnished and would-be lord. Descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. What? There's a three fingers? Burn the Erd Tree to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, uh, may chaos take the world. May chaos. Take the world! Chosen tarnished. Descend into Sigurd. Where? Okay, so there is an under the... You can go under the capital somehow. Ugh. It's a really big environment to explore looking for what I'm missing. But I'm missing something about how to go under it. Do you go under it via the outside sewers, maybe? Or the other sewers you access from the outside? Hmm, I gotta figure out what I'm missing. Hmm, waiting for an invasion to happen sucks. <laughs> I don't even like PvP, I'm just trying to do that guy's storyline. Alright, so can Bach remove my cape? The seamster, I you so ready to make it ready to make adjustments to your garments. The depraved perfumer. That's it, huh? You can't do the current gear. So soon, 
Uh, please do be safe on your journeys. Yeah, I can't, I can't help but wonder who would want to have Blythe's armor without the cape. I was curious to see how this one looks without the cape, but I guess it's not one of the options. Put it, put it back. Fix Blythe. Unbreak it. I'm sorry. Master, my apologies. Your wardrobe includes the garb of the old demigods. And I'm afraid I can't make adjustments to them. <laughs> My mum told me once that a royal seamstress would do them up in a jiffy. Just wait, master. Before long, I'll be that good too. Give the gold sewing needle? Oh. Getting Radon's armor is a story proc, basically? Is that a gift for my undeserving self? Thank you kindly, but what on earth could it... Oh, oh, amazing. I've never seen a golden needle. Not in all my life. With a spectacular royal crest to boot, are you certain that this is for me? Oh, I can hardly believe it. Have faith in me, master. I'll polish my craft enough that I deserve this golden gift. I'll be the golden seamster, Bok. Now I'll be able to sew anything, even the threads of the demigods. I'm confused. <laughs> so a needle, you poke it through the fabric and then you pull it all the way through and the thread comes with it. That's the point. It has to be, like, streamlined. Where do you put a crest on a needle? <laughs> that where it'd be visible and legible. I'm confused. There it is. I can get rid of the cape. Look at him. Just arms out. Uh... What are these dialogue options? Uh, I have a favor to ask? Master, may I ask you something? Would you mind if I called you Lord? I heard that you and the other Tarnished seek the throne of the Elden Lord. Well, I know that you will be the one, and you'd make just the manner of kind-hearted Lord that I'd wish for. So please, if you would, allow me to call you Lord. You may call me Lord. You don't say. Thank you. Thank you. My lord, my lord, my lord. Please become Elden Lord. And please let I, Bok the Seamster, remain at your side. You said they got so many more dialogue choices. Surely she'd be happy for you? Who? Do you think that Mum would be pleased if she knew that I'm as good as any royal seamster now? Oh, it's still not enough. I need to learn how to sew from scratch, like her. Have you ever thought so? My lord, have you ever wished you might be born again? Well, they say that Renala of Rhea Lucaria has the power to help people be reborn. Oh, me? Reborn? Oh, look at me. When you're this ugly, well, being reborn, it would hardly make a difference, I'm afraid. Give Larval, do we want to give him that? What's wrong with you? You could just be you. Let's see. Hmm. Going already, my lord. Please do be safe on your journeys. What do you want to accomplish by being reborn exactly? Who's up here? Right, merchants. There's too many merchants and none of them are labeled in a way that lets me know they're not a, uh, whether they're merchant or not before I check. 
It's weird how the entire keep is just kind of over. I can't continue that story. And Boiled Prawn is weirdly on halt. I just wonder where various other NPCs have just kind of vanished to over time. Yura, Hunter of Bloody Fingers? Should he still be there? Isn't he the guy that... who got replaced by the other guy? I thought the guy on the mountain was Yura, but with a new personality. Oh. There's a sword. So he is dead. Or replaced. Like his mind. So a lot of stuff is progressing. So there is reason to be checking around. I don't feel like fighting you all. Fuck him up, my summon. Okay, turn around. Good. <laughs> Lord of the proper lineage. Do you really just stand here forever? Like, there's gotta be some kind of follow up. <laughs> Look at him trying to fight. Oh, he's not making that much progress. He made the mistake of casting that stupid lightning spell that will absolutely never hit anyone. Because it's such a waste of time. It just refuses to be a useful spell, just outright. Like, it's its personal goal. I guess I haven't checked down here. Deathbed Companion. I can check the underworld areas for icons too. That's a merchant. That's another merchant. And that's a crone, so I guess it's just her. Uh? Was that there before? I don't remember. Shit. Give curse mark of death. This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this... Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second, illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Did I have to just finish? Did I have to kill him to free him from whatever imprisonment he had or something? Radiant Baldachain's blessing. Soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me the new life of the Golden Prince and first dead of the demigods as the rune of those who live in death. Please do one thing for me brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming. Our Elden Lord. Oh. 
This sounds like another ending option alongside the one with Ronnie. This is like the zombie ending? <laughs> so she's gonna lie with... So I freed Godric by defeating him. And now she's going to sleep with him as the a corpse? <laughs> or from beyond the grave or something with a spirit? I mean, there's no body here. And then... Be preggers, basically? I will soon lay to conceive. Yeah, I mean, that's conceive a child. She's gonna conceive a child with a... With someone. Is the blessing stronger now or something? Where even is that? Is it in, is it my inventory? <clears throat> They're both here. Temporarily boost poise. Favor allows one to forget any aches and pains. In death, there's only peace, for in death there can be no sensation. Protection of a hidden of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. This blessing is of the utmost rarity. It lasts longer than the other one. It is said a deathpad companion will only possess a blessing of this kind for a champion, but once in her entire life. The sole blessing which she imbues of her own volition. So this is unique, and it doesn't come back afterwards, I guess? Was the guy just turning into a mimic, and that's why I couldn't find him? That sounds like torture, if people can just turn into random pieces of scenery. It's a relatively large object. Was he one of the trees? Was he like, oh my god, he's coming for me, when I was, uh, coming after him? I'm curious if she'll stay here? Or if there's any more dialogue to be had? It did kind of sound like we already got the ending, though. <clears throat> She said she's leaving. She didn't really add anything, except maybe saying that the child will take after me in some way. But otherwise, that was most of the same dialogue, but you had to like trigger it by coming back later. Now I'm wondering if she actually leaves. Oh, I think she's dead. Or in another state. Enter deathbed dream. <laughs> that was an awkward pose. I guess I was a little too close. <laughs> Evil dragon. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh. Hi, buddy. You seem a lot like the dragon I fought last episode, so I'm not psyched about that, honestly. But here we go. Ow. All right. Ow. Let's find out if you can bleed. Ow. Not off to a good start. Oh, boy. Let's attack the tail. That's probably safer. Or I could miss. That's always cool. Fuck. Why am I so bad at fighting this kind of dragon? Is it? A, it is a different kind of dragon, isn't it, than the one I've been fighting all game? I feel like his movements and hitbox are different. Okay, I finally hit him, at least. Ow. 
Have I successfully dodged a single attack yet? <laughs> what a nightmare. Alright. Was that a bleed? That seemed like a big damage. Big damage, no whammies. Ooh. Projectiles everywhere. The Mimic's also half dead, so neither of us are doing great right now. Ow. Ow. Ow? We're off to a bad start. Just in general. These attacks work better when they land. Ow. Ah. I'm always I'm always wrong about the timing. Ow, stop. Okay, there's a bleed. That's good. I'm running out of heals, though. Ooh, that almost hit me. I should have summoned him as this weapon. Oh, there's a bleed. If I summon him with this against an enemy that might be bleedable, then he probably can stack bleed too. That's probably really good. Whoa, look at the sky. I just <laughs> didn't have time to look at that while during the fight. That was like a Junji Ito sky, like during like uh, Uzumaki or Rumina. Oh yeah, it's not. that's not normal. I didn't think so. Oh, is that an Elden? The Mending Rune of the Death Prince. Did she want me to kill her? Was that part of the process for her? Oh, not crafting. Or I guess I can craft. Nope. I'm out of RT reliefs again. That sucks. Is it a key item? Can be used to mend the Shattered Elden Ring. Oh, that sounds like a big deal. <laughs> that sounds like an ending. Rune gestated by Fia, the deathbed companion. Used to restore the fractured Elden Ring when brandished by the Elden Lord. Formed of the two Hallowbrand half-wheels combined, it will embed the principle of life within death into order. The Golden Order was created by confining destined death, thus this new order will be one of death restored. Is this like the equivalent of getting rid of hollowing and people just die for good in this setting? It even says Hallowbrand. Isn't that part of the idea of Tarnish? Is that we're once again some kind of immortal-ish dude again, like keeps happening? So the rolled medallions connected, but these ones aren't. Oh, does each half say where the other one is? No. Just this one did. Connects the Altus Plateau to Laernia via the lift, great, the Grand Lift of Dectus. Why is this one connected but these ones aren't? Didn't I find the Lift of Dectus? Yeah, well, I guess we can stop worrying about her now. Isn't this the Lift of Dectus? Uh... Yeah, I've been there. So I guess the, I guess the, those ones just don't get combined in your inventory. I have so many weird fucking things in my inventory that have like story context, but it's hard to keep track of it all. I was just looking at a fetus a second ago. Did I get that from the the lady? A womb that bore unintended offspring. Kind of like a forgetfulness. 
There's just so many key items. Seedbed curse, the dung eater. It sounds like the dung eater is under the city, but I don't know how to find him. I guess it's one of my goals right now. Because I've had, he's been referred to multiple times now. How many pates do I got? Are they, they're not even called pate. Oh, they're they are still, still called pate. Oh, you're beautiful. <laughs> Aw, blushes. It's probably too much. No, it's it's 3k. That's exactly the number I was thinking of. That's funny. I guess I, I'll sometimes remember at this point. Prince of Death, take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order. The Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, oh prince. Look at this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Uh Are you the guy I gave D's armor to after he died? Outside of the gargoyle boss fight? That's not who someone I expected to come back at this point. Cause D died, right? He also didn't talk like that. I mean this guy sounds a bit unhinged. You might say that uh that D's nuts. <laughs> Victory lap. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So she's dead. Uh, although you failed to stop her, because I guess I have the mark now, so her story is over anyway. She can still get her way. Uh, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The golden order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. No more regrets. Are you gonna kill yourself? You're beautiful. Oh, that sounds weird. And when he leans back like that, it looks like the woman is standing straight up. This armor freaks me out with the whole second person attached to it and the hugging and everything. Oh, it's like two people hugging and then... I just realized that his right arm is silver and his left arm is gold. So it, the, the right arm is supposed to be the woman's arm. It was part of their whole religious order thing. These two people merged together. He feels vaguely law tracky or something. I guess just because the gold armor and also when he kills an NPC. Like a firekeeper. I... I can't get over how much random obscure shit there is just waiting to be found throughout this game. Like, I'm... I'm getting FOMO about all the quest chains, but I guess I'm making progress today. I'm wondering if he's gonna be dead when I rest. Yeah. Yeah, he said guide my soul or whatever. It sounded a lot like he was about to kill himself. Yep, yeah, and now you can have the twin set, which is maybe good, but also weird and creepy. Scaled armor. The twinned armor. It's about blithe power level. Did I have scaled armor this whole time? I thought it was just Crucible and Radon. Oh no, yeah, I had scaled before, because I, I, yeah, I only had three things before and Radon was the fourth. I, I don't remember where this goes, but it, I, it, it was probably here before. Well, let's remind ourselves.
this I get like afraid of wrapping this game up because I don't know what I'm gonna miss. Oh, it's this spot. This was my preview of this level. And this leads up through here. And then there's the burning air tree and the doorway I can't open yet. But I guess burning will be one way to get in. And then like Bach is like right here. That's funny. Hey, it's you again. I just learned a new trick. You're afraid of your body? Well, I think you're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> that kind of sounds like his voice a little bit. Bok the seamster at your service, my lord. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. It does sound like his voice, doesn't it? I heard a voice? Did I just hear my mum speaking? Thank you very much. Mum was always the only one who said I was beautiful. What? And now, my dear lord, let me hear her voice. Oh, please, if I may dream just once, do you feel the same way my mum did, my lord? Do you think I'm beautiful despite these looks? Wait, is is Pate your mom? That's right. Yeah, you're beautiful. You're perfect. My lord, my dear lord, I, Bok the Seamster, am forever in your service. May the throne of Elden Lord be yours. What a bizarre Easter egg, really? That's super weird. All right, well, I think I want, I think I do want the cape back. Does look a little weird without it. Going already, my lord. I'm pleased. I. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> really? All right. He reacted to it. This seems ready to make a just. There's nowhere that. Wait a minute. The option went away. Did I just like? Did we, did we just have like a, a wholesome self-realization moment where he came to terms with himself? Because he doesn't... The option to give him the thing went away. Because he wanted a larval tear so that he could go rebirth himself. All the way back here. And it's just gone. Huh. This is our, this is our side quest episode anyway, so let's just try one more time. See if I can get it into another. Oh, invading and not trying, but invading. Gotta hope for the best. There we go. This is our old side quest episode, so I'd like to, to finish what I started here. Hello. I'm hearing some combat nearby. Yep. Wow, double dodge. Oh! I win. I win. My win. <laughs> take that. We take turns spamming our stupid uh, weapon arts at each other. <laughs> Dude, that's a that is a low armor character. She, she uh, evaded very effectively. I was really surprised when she dodged both attacks in a row. I'm like, I don't think I can dodge that fast. I don't think it works that way for me. All right, well, fuck PvP. Uh, why can't you have a nearby thing? I gotta run over to you. Aww. Does Bach get to be the one character with a happy ending or something? Or it's like, you just like... Like, oh, do you think I'm beautiful? Only my mother ever said that before. Oh, but yes, my lord, I just want to... I, let me alter your garments forever. So, I mean, it's not like a spectacular ending, but everybody else loses their mind or dies for the most part, so... Like, Blythe lost his mind and I had to kill him. EG got assassinated and is a currently a burning body. Uh, 
freaking the deathbed companion. Uh, I killed all of her followers, and then she births some kind of unholy nightmare thing or something, and then gets murdered by D, but not D, and then, then that guy kills himself. <laughs> it's a lot. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain that you'll take to it. I did. I tried the finger. I, 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 I've done it twice now. I even killed the last guy. Did you give me a different finger? What do you... What do you want from me? I, uh... Huh. And then you have Jarberg. I don't know. They said I don't have whatever I need for these places, but, uh, like, I've, I like, gotten, I think I've killed, like, three more major bosses since then? Maybe I've got the thing now? I don't really know, I think I understood what it was. Oh! Hello again, cuz. I'm happy you came back. I have good tidings for you, cuz. Have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village? I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them, and they said you'd be very welcome. Well, that's nice. Go on, Kaz. You really should pick some of our flowers. Who knows? They might be of some use. Okay. You pressuring me to do it makes it feel weirder. Like, it's like... Like, it's a trap. <laughs> like, for some reason, it's bad to pick your flowers. But I'll run around and I'll frolic. Wee. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now it's gonna be like, now you've accrued a debt. You ate part of the dinner and now you're gonna turn into a piggy or something. I'm trying to remember. There's like some ver I think there's like an Alice in Wonderland thing. Where there's like a punishment for ta partaking. It's a reoccurring thing. It's in Pan's Labyrinth. And then it's, it's also uh, spirited away. The parents eat at the place and then get turned into pigs. And then uh, the entire story happens somewhere else with different characters for the rest of the movie until the ending. It's like almost like an Alice in Wonder... Uh, it's almost like a, a Wizard of Oz, like, ridding of the main cast. This is legitimately a lot of flowers. Did I grab them all last time, too? I don't remember. Even one of these is here. A crystal bud. You've got a bud in me. You've got a bud in me. flowers who knows they might be of some use is there like a quest trigger attached to a specific flower that's like really interesting or something because I just picked a lot of flowers bud and you're still saying the same thing are these are these that looks like foliage this is a weird adventure episode I did it's taken some turns. I did not realize how far it was going to go. But I still haven't gotten any further with the main thing, which is that I tried to do the invasion thing at the beginning, and then it just he doesn't seem to care that I succeeded, I succeeded at an invasion. Ah, oh, hello again. Say, cuz, have you met Uncle Alexander? He used to live here with us, but then he left to be a champion. I asked to go with him, but he said, the path of champions must be trod alone. So heroic, right? I miss him, though. If you see him, you should ask him to teach you how to fight, cuz. He's big and tough and strong. Uncle Alexander said he won't be back again. My home is of the past, and the past, as they say, 
is a different country. I suppose that's part of being a warrior, isn't it? So, please don't tell anyone, cuz. But I'm actually a warrior jar as well. One day, I'll be just like Uncle Alexander, and I'll have to leave the village to become a champion. Uncle Alexander won't come back. My home. My home is of the past, and the past is a different country. So this is where he's from, which makes some sense because it's the place where everyone's a happy little jar that talks to you instead of attacking you. But where is Alexander? This is where I really wish you could search by people's names. The last place I saw Alexander was in the volcano, wasn't it? And it's not him. He was at Volcano Manor, I think. He was like, he was here on the map. But I never figured out how to get there. It doesn't seem like you could even. Like, maybe that conversation spawned him on the map somewhere? But good luck finding him? I don't know. I think I'm doing an alright job, but it's still hard to keep track of all this stuff. And find them all. What happened to the lady that I, I, I helped her up in the church or something? Is she just gone? Like, where do I go to find her again? What was her name even, for that matter? Because she was like right there. Because the northwest will take me to a road. I feel like I've checked this maybe recently-ish. But who knows what might be, might be changed by the fact that the, uh, the story has proceeded apace. Boulder! Heard it coming. Oop, it killed someone, I think. Oop, danger. Oh, I took the wrong path. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah, I, did, I had like a parkour episode here where I was trying to figure out how to do anything. Shit. I thought I was following the map to get to him. But I went the wrong ways. This guy at the church is just really inconveniently placed. Oh, I think I came here because I talked to Selen. And I thought that, that what she's asking me to find might be here. But I also feel like I didn't find it. I could go teleport to her and check if anything's changed. Also, that guy I gave the key to. I gave him the glintstone sorcery key or whatever. So like is he in there somewhere now? That's a really big level to look for him in. Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff to be a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. Sure, I'll just buy one. Buy all of them maybe? Why not? Don't know how much this is. Do you? Do you need? Nope. Guess not. Sometimes people just kind of react differently to stuff. Oh, maybe let's try the front gate. See if that one at the gate. Maybe that's where I can find the spellcaster that. Got the key to come here? One might hope. I definitely don't want to re-explore the entire goddamn level. But I looked I looked for him. Uh I looked for him at the actual lit chamber of Renala and she wasn't there. And I think he left the church. His whole goal is to come in here.
And he's not here. This is a gamble episode where everything could be a dead end waste of time or it could be like, oh shit. A whole plot line, surprise. At some point, the temptation rises to just start looking things up. Because you're like, where the fuck did that plot line go? He's... he's somewhere. I haven't found his next appearance, nor have I found a corpse. And those are usually the options. I think he was a bald guy? Just kind of thinking about whether or not I would spot him on the fly. Yep, this area is still populated with enemies. Things hath not suddenly improved. There's a lot of bodies around that look kind of like him, but if it was him, he'd probably have an item to signify that it was that character who died. Yep. He's on the map. Alright, let's go back to Celia. And maybe wrap this up. Because I did... I'm pretty sure I did go, st go places to try to follow up on her story. It was worth checking. My apprentice. Give me a moment later. I have a favor to ask. Oh. Look at all these sorcerers. Sorceries. I am such a good apprentice. About the request. The form you see before you is merely a projection. My body lies elsewhere. But the Academy shackles prevent it being moved. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern tip of the lands between. Imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Selen's on the Weeping Peninsula, that's as far as I got. She said a lot more shit. <laughs> uh. About the request. My body is on the Weeping Peninsula at the southern, southern tip. tip of imprisoned in the ruins just down from the Church of Marika, past the plain of the Wandering Mausoleum. Can you make the journey to my body? I have something that I can only trust with you. Past Marika and the Mausoleum. About Glintstone Sorcery. Our draws upon the powers embedded in Glinstone. But what is the nature of such power? Glinstone is the amber of the cosmos. Golden amber contains the remnants of ancient life and houses its vitality, while Glinstone contains residual life and thus the vitality of the stars. It should not be forgotten that Glinstone's sorcery is the study of the stars and the life therein. A fact lost on most sorcerers these days. Lead on Lusat? After his expulsion from the Academy, I heard that Master Lusat returned to his home, a place called Celia in the eastern Caled Wilds. Thinking about it, I obtained the Glimstone key I gave you from a Celian sorcerer. It wouldn't be too much of a leap to suppose he's still cooped up nearby. In Lusat. It's 3,000, 6,000, 8,000, 500.
You wish to resume the lesson? Indeed. Boop. Your appetite for learning, you make me proud. To have grown little legs so readily. You must have a fabulous teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She did actually say something, and I accidentally skipped part of it. I think it's only a Dark Souls 1 thing, but in Dark Souls 1, you could proceed via storylines of spellcasters by finishing buying all, everything that they can sell. There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? And I think she specifically said some, that because I cleared it all out. Yep, when I left that time, she didn't say anything. Alright, so this is called the Weeping Peninsula down here. Behind the castle rampart. Already's rise. Isn't the Church of Maraca like all the way up here? Oh, the third Church of Maraca, those they're all called that. Church of Pilgrimage. Fourth Church of Maraca. Witchbane Ruins. Isolated Merchant's Shack. The Tower of Return. The Weeping Ever Jail? Did I finish that one? So she said, in the Southern Peninsula, it sounds like you go from the Church of America past... Past the wandering mausoleum, I assume that's the the turtle buildings things. That one. That's one of the ones I brought down, it looks like. The tower. I can finally return our home bathed in rays of gold. So she said past the mausoleum, right? So just go in this direction, which I think takes me to the Tower of Return. Unless there's, unless there's something hiding in here. Is there a surprise? It's fitting to be turning on this thing, because this is the... I believe the merchant near here is where I got this item. I guess it's memorable. Okay. Well, that was weird. Oh shit, that's her. The weird body that went from that one time. I remember that. Shit, I've been here before. And I marked it as complete, even though there's a weird NPC in it that I probably should be worried about. Yeah, it's like a catatonic body. I remember this. I should not have. I probably should not have marked this as complete. My apprentice, thank you for coming. These shackles take a toll on us all. There is something I need you to look after. My primal glintstone. A star has fallen and my fortunes waver. Someone may come for my life. And so, I entrust it with you. Myself. Well, like a phylactery? What is this? Another confusing item in my inventory of great importance, but I have put amongst hundreds. Glint stone from within the sorceress Selen's body, seemingly al half alive. Blood vessels are visible within. In essence, a primal glintstone is a sorcerer's soul. If transplanted into a compatible new body after the original body dies, the sorcerer will rise again. My apprentice. 
Do you think it's distasteful? Who am I supposed to transplant her to? Is that what's going to happen? Thank you, my apprentice. This is my essence. Please, treat it with care. Treat it with care. My apprentice, what you hold is my very being. Well, but are you also still here? No. Uh, were all the crystals scattered like this before? She is not here. I guess it's a good thing I bought all of her stuff. It seems she was right to suspect. But someone might come after her. Is she still here? Was she directly attacked, or did ripping the thing out of her chest make her disappear? Like her projection disappear? I don't know why it says to go past the wandering thing. It's definitely not. That was just misleading direct directions. Oh, someone's here. to see the champion of the festival here, of all places. You didn't know Selen, did you? Well, whatever the case, she's dead now. Just put it behind you. She was known as the Graven Witch, obsessed by the primeval current. Countless sorcerers fell to her hand. The most dangerous mage in the entire history of Real Acaria's academy. This is rude. Sorry, you were saying? It is strange, though. The woman, she was like a husk. Her soul already fled. I suspect Selen lives on elsewhere. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. A sickening thought, but one that won't stop gnawing at me. I suspect Selen lives on. I'm sure she'll turn up eventually in another body. A sickening thought. Well. Weird that she's tra she's trapped in one ruin and then like projecting herself to another ruin. Where has she gone to? She could be reborn. That's the only thing that comes to mind. This is a sorcery place. Could she have been reborn at the sorcery place? Because she needs a new body. Nope. No dialogue there. Do I just... Do I just eat the gem? <laughs> you live on in me or whatnot. Alright, well, I think, I think we've accomplished enough for now.